this area is Boggy Swamp, but I don't want to go there just yet, because it's another one of those areas where I'm just... Meh. Whoa, that was badass. Uh, up there is the... The boss, as you can tell, because we obviously are going to have to fight that thing up there. Is, can you see him? Yes, he's right there. Um, but I want to go to Precursor Basin first, because uh, it's a very fun area. It's definitely the best area of this of this uh, town, that's for sure. The best area for the other town, Sandover Village, is I don't know, probably. I like the Forbidden Jungle, I guess. But yes, look, it forces you to use the zoomer. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. Let's go over here and talk to this girl. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. 90! That's the big magic number in this game. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. I have an accent. Isn't it wonderful? And I'm an explorer. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, yes, it is. And that was a very bad attempt to try and do an accent. I'm not very good at doing accents. I mean, the whole point of an accent is only a couple of people can do that particular accent. Like, if in Europe you have a, like a European accent. And these are the weasels, or whatever they're called. And I don't care about them right now. And uh, this place, as you can see, has a ton of these boxes, and in these boxes are tons of orbs. And darn it, what is with me and this running into these nitro boxes? I ran into a bunch of them in Misty Island, but I missed every single one of them in Forbidden Jungle. There's one. Scout fly. Oh, jeez. At least it has good physics. You know what? No, this doesn't have good. Fi is that? Oh, okay. I was gonna say this. This thing doesn't have very good physics. How is it staying afloat? But then you can see that there's a little bit of there's a little fan on the bottom, a little propeller. And yeah, you do not want to touch those. And jeez, there is a lot of stuff. I don't know which one I should tackle first. Like I said, though, this entire area is you uh, on the zoomer. You know what? I might as well just go for this one. Uh, they tried. They mimicked this uh, the, uh, chasing this guy in Jack Two. They basically had a reference uh, to using, the, uh, trying to chase down this guy. They had a reference in Jack Two. It's a very fun mission in Jack Two, actually. Oh, there we go. Yet you just run him over. In Jack 2, it's way more epic what you do when you catch the things that you're trying to catch. It's way more epic. So I got the race. I got the rings. I got those blue pre uh, those blue lurker guys. And I keep missing that one. Darn. I can get this one. There you go. And you yeah, those weasels, you have to lure them into these holes in the ground. You don't have to run them over. That'd be too easy. 
Okay, this is easy. Oh, that one. Whoa, that one's fast. But you are slightly faster. And I'm dead. That's epic, though. You just <laughs> you just blow up. You fly out of this uh, zoomer. Yeah. And where is that blue guy? Where'd he go? Right there. I'm just gonna run into that, just get it over with. <laughs> oh, you don't want to run into that. I think that kills you one hit, actually. And, oh, are you kidding me? That didn't hit him? What the heck? I should be killing this guy. Done and I get wow, I've never seen that happen. And I get hit for my trouble. Oh, and here are the precursor, uh, here are the dark eco plants that you gotta spray with dark eco. Uh, <laughs> here's the dark eco plants that you spray with more dark eco that you spray with uh, green eco. It is conveniently right here. This is a fun mission. Once again, they mimicked this in Jack 3, actually. And, uh, you gotta get rid of every single one of them, so... You better watch out. And look. Oh, crap. Damn. And look, they're sprouting up again. So these are fast plants. I can't remember how many trips it should take with the green eco, and wow, those are sprouting up fast! Jeez. This is going to be the last trip, definitely. Are you kidding me? There's still one... Oh, and he doesn't even bother to try and grow anymore. And right away you get a nice plant. Big pink plant. Also, that green eco is very useful, because if you're running low on health, like you keep hitting nitro crates, you just go into this area and just run over it and boom, full health. You keep on impressing me. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get out with it. God, Samus is a dick. I just love that sound effect. It's hilarious. Uh, this one is annoying. As you can see, you're maneuvering around these two poles. And I got him. <laughs> like, after my first lap. Okay. Yeah, we're just going all over the place, aren't we? How much have we got, actually? We've only got one in this area? Are you kidding me? That's insane. 